In this video, I'm going to be going over a uh, issue that you're really only going to see in 2005 revision boards. So what's going on with this cluster here is the TAC and RPM are still working, but the cluster is completely ignoring anything that has to do with the serial data communication. So we're not getting any of the four gauges over here working. TransTEP is not working and none of the dummy lights are working, but the cluster does boot up as normal and power on. It's just ignoring everything that has to do with the, uh, the serial communication. So we're going to take a close look at the 56585 chip, which is the proprietary mysterious chip that GM uses in their uh, clusters. And I think I've seen them in climate controls and other things too that has to do with all the uh, communication, talking back and forth. So let's get this thing open and take a look. So the 56585 is located for the 2005 revision boards. Let me get the plastics out of the way here. Uh, located here, now in 03 and 04, this is where the EEPROM is, but uh, in 05 they switched. So what, you know, you're not gonna find a schematic for this chip because it's GM's proprietary. Well, if you did find a schematic, uh, congratulations. I've never been able to find one, but let's get some voltage measurements here. Pin 5 is the 12 volt power reference pin. It is. It doesn't run on 5 volts uh, like most of the other chips. This one runs on 12. So I'm going to power up the cluster and we're going to see if it's getting its 12 volt supply. First I'm going to make sure there's incoming power coming into the voltage regulator just to, yeah, so we know my voltmeter is good. Uh, so pin 5 would be this corner here. And 1.7 volts. Hmm. That's definitely not 12. So what I'm going to be doing uh, is writing a jumper. We have a break somewhere between the 12 volts coming in and the supply pin. Uh, power comes in through the plug, goes through several dials, but this is the dial we're concerned about, which feeds the regulator. I'm going to run a jumper from the 12 volt to this pin and we'll see if we can get some life back in this chip. All right, so here is the jumper from the 12 volt of the regulator to the pin 5 of the 56585. Now it should be getting 12 volts. Let's see if we finally have serial communication. So let me boot everything up. There we go. Engine overheated. That's a good sign. I'm telling it that, but that means we have our communication back. And just to show you that we now have, let's see, which gauge should I use? Uh... We should get some movement now out of the stepper motor. There we go. See, we're talking. All right, this one's fixed. Uh, I'm going to wrap this one up. Thanks for watching.